Yay! Okay. Hello, everyone. It is I, Trojan the Baddest. I am a competitive Tekken player, or competitive fighting game player. I play Tekken, I play King of Fighters. I play some other ones for fun, but those are my main two, main two games. And I am known for playing baddies, I guess. Baddies and grapplers, that's my thing. Um, well, grapplers and K-Wolf, but that's neither here nor there. So, um, this is just a brief intro, uh, introduction. I'll probably be like reintroducing the premise of what's going on today throughout the video so everyone's on the same page. Um, but for today, I am going to talk about why Lily is so good in Tekken 8 and just kind of ex talk about my thoughts. I played the Connection Network test a while back and I, I know life the game for two weekends in a row. Um, hey, Carlos. Welcome. Hey, nice to see you. I know life the game for two weekends in a row. Um, the, I bought a PS5 just for it. I always buy a new console when the newest Tekken gets ready to come out. So I made sure to buy a PS5 for the occasion. So uh, I'm basically going to go over kind of changes that she's had. I'm going to go over buffs, nerfs, middle ground changes, new strings, old strings, how she's changing in the new game, how the heat mechanics change everything. Deep dive, all of it, you know. I have nothing but time today, so I'm going to do my best to kind of get, share my thoughts and kind of grow upon the ones you guys share with me, and then we'll have a good time. So in the background here, I have Tekken 8, just for the sake of having something that's going to have, allows me to, you know, real time show Lily doing stuff and kind of break down different things I'm doing. Um, but I also have some Tekken 8 clips already pulled up in the background for myself. I have Shine in there. And there's Lily, people who have been releasing Lily content all over for Tekken 8. So I'm going to share some of their stuff and give the links to you guys. So that way they have their credit and you can check them out for yourself. Um, first things first. Um, for those who don't know, this is... girl. Well, she's in a bunny costume right now. But girl on the left is Lily. Um, she came out in Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. And she's been in Tekken ever since. And January 26th of 2024, they're releasing Tekken 8. And... We've seen trailers for her, this, that, and the third. But she's the baddest by far, and she's the main squeeze. So let's see. How do I want to start this? Let's start by just doing a. Um, we'll do a quick video to kind of show what we're working with for for Lily. Let's, let's start with that. Let me see. Bum bum bum. What do I got pulled up first? Oh, actually, here I have one of my videos right here. Let's watch. A video with me going against Claudio. Shows a really fun one actually. Um, we'll go from there. Okay, sound on. Let me mute tech in the background. Mm -mm. Okay, groovy. So this was taken from the Tekken 8 connection test, and this is the on the PS5. I I didn't get access to the PC version, so I only played on PS5. But I really enjoyed not only visually how it looked, but I enjoyed kind of how how easy it was to play it, like um, I, the PS5 controller, I play pad, and it was very intuitive, very responsive in my opinion. Okay, cool. Before we start here, let's see. We'll pause there. So with Lily and all characters, they got heat mechanics, and that comes with the new heat system in Tekken, and so you will have, actually let's move forward a little bit, so we can see it. So right here, there is this blue bar underneath the health bar. This isn't a guard gauge. This is the heat bar. <laughs> and so everyone has one at the, it's full at the start of the round and you can go into it by doing what is called a heat burst, which is done by pressing triangle and X or two and three on the controller at the same time. Or you can do what's called a heat engager. Heat engagers, everyone has like uh, five or so of them. I have Lily's written down here. She has quarter circle four, two, one. She has back one. Oh, I get to show you what they look like because I have Tekken in the background. Awesome. Cool. So real fast, I'll show those to you. There's no sound because, you know, we, we, we muted the sound. Okay. She has quarter circle four, two, one. And that's a homie move that she has. So she can go into do glide, 
which is like her, her snake dash and do it, or she can do it out of a string and do it like that. Really cool because this move in Tekken 7 is minus 11 or minus 12 is not very punishable. Um, but another cool thing about it is a lot of uh, Lily's uh, buff that Lily got next video for the sake of um, explanation. I have it pulled up right here. That's me. Um, Lily has a buff on a lot of her different things where she's able to do a counter hit and combo into quarter circle forward two one, or she's able to do a normal hit. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Make sure this isn't too loud. She's able to do different counter hits into quarter circle forward two one, or counter hits into back turn one four, which is another one of her heat engagers. Um, we're flipping back and forth. We're moving moving kind of fast now. Um, this is another one she has back turn one four, and so either one of these. Well, I guess we might as well go through the list. She has quarter circle forward two one. She has back turn one four, which is eight frames. Comes out super fast. It's faster than most jabs. She has standing three one. Used to be a wall bounce. It doesn't wall bounce anymore. It, it heat engages. She has three plus four, which is a new move. I can't show it. It'll, it'll show up a little bit later. And she has feisty rabbit two, which is also a new move that she has, where she goes into feisty rabbit and she does a mid punch. Wall splats, a normal hit and everything. Super cool move. Okay, now I'll show you what I mean. She has, this is a buff that Lily got. She's able to do a counter hit on certain moves and she gets another hit after it, which is pretty cool because Lily has ample counter hits. So let's see what I'm talking about here. First one, we have four, one plus two. She gets, um, it's plus 13. So you can do like stuff like um, broken heart, one plus two. She can do down forward, 4-4, four, four, which is now her, it goes into a knee into a low, which is now 13 frames, which is a buff. Um, let's see what else we got here. This is, there it is. Back one is my favorite move by Lily, with Lily by far. So back one goes into, counter, goes into do glide. And on counter hit, you can do do glide 2-1, which is a heat engager. So you're able to do this counter hit string into 2-1, which will do into a heat engager. If you already have a heat engager, it will be a launcher because you will, you can go into heat dash and get a full combo. What else we got here? There it is. And that animation triggers whenever they go into a uh, heat engager. It goes into this big, all the screen freezes, they, they run up on you. And you're, you're, you're plus enough to like get a mix up, but you're not plus enough where you can do a super slow move. They can still mash out in certain situations. You can go into jab. She has new jab strings now, which is really good, I think. This is another buff. That's another string she has. She has standing 3-2. She's able to do that and go into 4-4-3. Four, four, goes into... It puts... Okay, so it launched in Tekken 6 and it launched in Tekken 7 after the buffs. And now she's able to do... Feist, or not Feisty Rabbit. She's able to do Do Glide 2-1 and that'll give a combo. While setting forth, we love to see it. And here's back turn one four. So she has a couple of different ways that she can counter hit and go into her heat engagers, which is really good. It's gonna make such a difference when it comes to just what you're able to get into. Like being able to have extra access to heat engagers is really important because it's such a big mechanic for everyone. Okay, groovy. Now we've gone over the heat engagers. Now let's go over kind of uh a match I I pulled up a video with Shine playing who is this Shine is playing Cherry Bank Cherry Berry Mango uh, this is my, this is my video this is someone else's video I'm gonna turn it down a little bit um, but yeah I um it's I think it's important to go over different play styles to kind of compare okay cool let's see new move awesome let's see let's see Nice, nice. Then another new move right here. That's a new tornado attack she has. Able to combo into it. Come on, let's use some heat guy. Well, there it is. Bam. Well, that wasn't Lily doing heat, but hey. Lily goes, uh, her heat burst looks like down 43, which is awesome. Nice. Okay, cool. So we saw a couple new moves she has and I have a video of all the new moves and stuff so we can look at that. 
but she has a new low out of back turn. It's back turn down two, which is super fast. It counter hit knocks down into the opponent being face down, feet towards you. So you were, you're setting up for Oki just like that. Um, it high crushes. I don't think it tracks to both sides, but it's very quick. So I feel like the name of the game with Lily in a lot of the times has been like high crushes and evasion, things like that. And so in Tekken 8, it's no different. Oops, excuse me. In Tekken 8, it's no different. She has she has a new string where it is one one four. It's what people call a G clef cannon because it is a counter hit string, and you're able to go into back turn off two hits. You can do one one. It goes into back turn. You can do one one four. It's a full string, and if they press on the four or the kick of the move, it's a counter hit launcher. So that is ten out of ten. An amazing string and it has so much versatility because the one the first button of it alone is jab so you're plus one and then you do one one you go into back turn and i think it's maybe minus four lily's a lot of situations uh where lily goes into back turn she's minus four um off of like strings that are on block so i'm thinking minus four minus six and then you have one one four which is it knocks down it wall splats it counter hit launches they press and I think, I don't know the frames, I'm, I believe it's at least minus 12 or something like that. Very good move. Um, let me see here. And oh, and the other move we saw was quarter circle forward three. So Lily has a wall standing three that she could do out of Duke Glide. I believe you cannot do it anymore because her new move out of Duke Glide is quarter circle forward three. So you will get Shine did it in this combo here after the repeated back ones, just so you can see it again. So it's a big spin kick. She says, voila, or voila. There it is. And like, it's super cool. It's safe on block. It looks like it hits grounded. An amazing move. You can use it in combos, the bee's knees. And so, whoa, wow. There's so much to talk about. Um, but yeah, in this round, it was pretty chill. You didn't see a lot of heat mechanics um, come into play. But whenever any of the characters are in heat, heat mode, they have added um, buffs on certain moves. You have chip damage on normal hit, um, or if they block, you get chip damage. On all moves, there it is. Look how good that move is. Super quick, knocks him down, and I believe it's plus on, on normal hit. And so, whenever you are in heat, you have... You, well, you're still going to be regaining health. That's new mechanic in Tekken 8. You regain health whenever you hit this little, like, um, great health that Shine just lost a bunch of. You can regain that back whenever you press buttons. And so, yeah, Lily is a very, I don't want to say mashy character, but she has tons of options to press buttons all up and through her kit. She has great jabs, very continuous pressure. Look, look at that. Look how nicely that mixes up. So she has back turn down two, which is a high crushing low, knocked out on counter hit. And she still has back turn one plus two, which is now minus 11. So they've buffed Lily's kit to the point where they're now giving additional <laughs> punishment frames on other moves. So it's balanced. There it is. Look, that's new, right? So she can, um, it's a new string. She can do it when she's not in heat, but whenever she's in heat, all of her, they're called Piercing Thorn. Her oh, four, four, three plus four moves, they're buffed. She gets added damage. She's super plus on it. Look at that. There it is. Back turn down to, and so they nerfed parry. You don't get a tornado or a screw after it anymore. You can still use your heat burst, which will effectively bound them. Okay, I'm no Jin main, but I think that move is so sick. <laughs> Look like he's casting thunder. And Lily's fit so cool. I love it so much. I, I miss it. Like um, 
there's no Tekken 8 mod for Lily, or Tekken 7 mod for Lily to look like that. Yet. I'm so hoping for one. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about that, actually. So, I've been playing... I have all the Tekkens uh, that Lily's on. I've actually, I think, almost all the Tekkens available to me, but Tekken 5, Lily has down 1. Down 1, 2. She has a whole string that she has. Um... I don't think it's down one, two, four yet. I could be wrong. I can't recall. No, she has down one, two, four in Tekken 5 DR. She does. So, Tekken 5 Lily, she has down one, two. It's not a natural combo. So, what she, what Shine is doing with down one, two, or what Shine is doing with down one, two now, if they get hit by the first hit, they can't block the second hit. And so, but in Tekken 6... Lily was able to do down one, the first hit of that string, and recover in full crouch. And so that added a full crouch mix up to it. And also in Tekken 6, she was able to do down one, two, and go into back turn. So down one is a really good move because it has so many mix ups that I think. If. Okay, so first off, I don't think a lot of the general population knows Lily enough to get mixed up by little. by, by subtle nuances like that. But as a player, you get options to going into a full crouch. You can recover standing. You can go into back turn. And so you have a, three different things you can set up with this one move, which is just so good. You know, a very good move to understand your toolkit. Being that down one, two is a low high. If you block the first hit low, you can still remain crouching and punish, get a full launcher. And you, you may recover back turn depending on what you're going for. But super strong. Oh, hi. Welcome. Um, super strong move to use in your kit. And Shine's doing a very good job of mixing up finishing the string and not finishing the string. Um, out of full crouch, Lily doesn't have any additional moves uh, in Tekken 8. She still has standard wall sending 1, 2, wall sending 2, 3, slide, all that. But she does have a transition. She can do wall sending 1, 2, and to do glide now. So with down 1, it is 0 on hit. In a uh, hit confirmable, um, would you are you saying hit confirmable like you're able to do down one two and then counter hit hit confirm the last hit or you mean if you press the first hit you can hit confirm into the second one? But relatively, I think uh, let me see for the down one two. I don't think it's hit confirmable. Let me. I'm gonna set the computer to randomly block. Let me see. How do I do that? So we're gonna do random guard. And I think this should do it. One. Let me see. If they'll guard it. It might just be random standing guard if I do it that way. So let me see. D -d 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 random guard. Guard. This one. Why you know? I'll just do standing. Yeah, I usually saw after heat dash. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Is that? No, it's on guard all. Ah, oh, darn it. I didn't do it right. Oh, this. Okay, so yeah. It's not, um... Hit, hit confirms. I guess so. It's a natural combo if um that's what you mean. For if it was hit confirmable, that'd be really cool. Um, whenever things are hit confirmable, you like press one button, you can see the button hit, and then you can do the second hit. Like a uh, quarter circle forward two one is hit confirmable. I didn't hit confirm. You can see the first hit hit, and then you can do the second hit. But for this one, you can. Oh wow. It might be hit confirmable. <laughs> Let me see. Wow, that was so lenient. Down one, two is hit confirmable. Hmm. You heard it, yo. You're on to something, buddy. And also, so sorry. This I'm doing this on YouTube chat, and so it's not showing the uh, the chat from them that you guys are in. But um, guy in the chat, you can see it if you're in the chat room, but uh, you can't see it if you're up here. But. The guy in the chat was saying that down one two is hit confirmable, and it is. <laughs> so yeah, so if you're really locked and loaded in the match, you know you're doing your strings. You can, you know, you can hit confirm it. You know. Yeah, I, I, I won't say anything if you don't say anything. That's amazing, cause different characters have that move, and I don't think there is hit confirmable. So yeah, that was. Look at that. It, it, it is, I will say, it is not the easiest thing, but I think with practice, and if you're, like, visually looking for it, you can, like, probably, like, I, I think it's worth it, because 
let me set the computer to do it to me because it's like a delay down one too i think I'm, I'm i'm wrong i'm just i'm speculating right now but i'm gonna set the computer to guard okay you can still uh hit confirm it on guard but i think that might mess people up if you do delay it so much Pass after your, most of your rounds wins with that move. Yo, down one two is a good. It high crushes. It's eighteen frames. That's you, that's not seeable. That's seeable or whatever. Um, yeah, dude, I I love the move so very much. It's very cheeky. Plus three. So I'm gonna set the computer to do delay down one two to me, and I'm gonna see if I can punish it. And if I try and punish it, I'm gonna see if I get counter hit with it. So we're gonna set the computer to. Uh, repeat the action a delay down one two four and then we'll see what happens okay that's just the one ah excuse me awesome that's perfect yeah oh my gosh wow that's crazy oh dude so yeah so down one two four is a natural hit string that ends in a mid and if you delay the string, they try and punish you. You get a hit confirm, counter hit into the well. It, it natural combos into the last hit because they try and punish you. And I get cool. That's amazing. So yeah, if you have a move that uh high crushes, it should counter hit then. But. If they're looking for that, you just don't finish the string. You just... Because if we're trying to hit confirm it anyway, see, that wouldn't even punish anymore. You would have to do your 11 frame punisher. Or you can just do a dick job. Nice. We learned something new today. I bet. Let's get back into the sauce. So, down one, very strong move. Down one, two, even better, you know? It, it builds on itself. I was, I've been thinking about Lily's strings for a long time now and just trying to like talk about how important it is to use your strings and use them to the fullest. That is a Snapple top fact. That is, I thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. So right now we're watching uh, Shine versus Cherry Berry Mango. Shine's a Lily player, Cherry Berry Mango's a gin player. And right now we're just, you know, kind of just going over the buffs, nerfs of Lily and like all the different stuff that she has and kind of how she's gonna fit in the meta, you know, just all things Lily and Tekken 8, really. All right, cool. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. well that, that, that was a great segment. <laughs> so Lily down one, two, puts you in back turn if you hold back. And Lily has a new move um, out of back turn. It is a homing mid knockdown, safe on hit. We hope it's still safe <laughs> or safe on block uh, when it comes out in Tekken 8, but it's back turn three, three plus four, I think, or back turn three, four. I, I don't um, the buttons escape me right now um but it's a homing mid into a mid knockdown and you get um a combo after a little mini combo get an extra hit so look at this bam bam whoa, whoa, whoa. into the new, new move like this i'm baffled dude i actually think i saw this video last night or a couple days ago and i was like i have to oh, i have to cool. show this to everyone like that was amazing like down one mix up back turn strings i'm gonna watch it one more time i have to i have to like that was super lit you can slide step down one too which is you know balancing or whatever <sighs> and then they run oh, up for oh, the oh. mix up Amazing. Bam, bam. So heat burst is where they flash and go into their their heat engage. Or heat burst, they go into their move, they're plus on block. And it is super fast. Like, this screen kind of freezes. But it is... It does have frames to it. There is some type of math to it that we, we, we haven't pinpointed just yet. I don't think it's different for a character. I think it's maybe universal. But they're all plus, and but they are able to be interrupted. It's so cold in my house. One second. I'm going to turn the air up. I thought it was warm, so I, I have this tank top on, but now I'm cold. 
But yeah, Dow one two is super good. Plus, she has a new low out of back turn that's plus. So Lily, most everyone has a generic back turn down four, which just looks like the character turning around and doing a generic full crouch down four. But Lily's has been changed. It no longer looks like this. It's like a, its own different move now. We'll see it a little bit later. I wasn't able to, I guess, pinpoint the exact. I think it is minus. Um, it, it may still have some tracking to it because generic down four has some tracking to it. Well, it's hard to step. I'll say that it's it doesn't have tracking. It's just it um, it's harder for some people to move around. Um, and then she has back turn three. She back turn two is no longer a counter hit launcher as of now. From like um, when we last played it, it is this fly is gonna bother me. I, I don't deserve that. Move around, move around. Um, back turn down two is an armor move and doesn't launch anymore. But hey, we love armor in back turn. But they took away Lily's back turn three plus four two. Back turn Lily, Lily's back turn three plus four two was this string right here. As of right now, she doesn't have it. And so this would mess people up all the time. They would think it's a high, they would, I hope she gets it back, or, you know, I, this is really good. It's like minus six on, um, on block. So, oh, minus four. See, a lot of Lily strings put her at minus four. So you get the exact same mix up whenever you do stuff like uh, her back turn stuff, minus four. Um, well, this isn't, this is plus four. Uh, then this is plus three. But she has different stuff like that where she has access to back turn in, in various different situations. But they they relate to each other. You know, you're able to build off of your strings if you're, you know, using them effectively. And quarter circle three is such a good move. Like, throughout the beta i would you can knock people down with um lily's 12 frame punisher like this and you can do four four three into quarter circle four three and if they don't tech properly you would launch them exactly i i also agree that back turn three plus four two without the two at the end feels incomplete it feels like it's missing something i hope you know we just we haven't seen everything and they've been working behind the scenes to do something else to it to make it balanced or whatever um I think it's so safe in Tekken 8. It feels safe. Like, I they did some weird stuff to armor moves in Tekken 8. I say weird, they're just different. But, like, um, I think if they don't press a button when you do this, it is safe. So, if I, um, I, I have a clip of it somewhere, but I have to go find it. But if I do stuff like this, that's, I just did the jab before to kind of show, hey, welcome, welcome. I did a jab before just to kind of give me the give me the timing of it, but if in Tekken Eight, this is I'm I don't have a game in front of me and I'm doing the best I can to explain the experience, y'all. Um, but if you do an armor move, it's normally safe in some situations for the ones I've run into, um, unless you like press a button on it. So if you do stuff like if they just do that, you I don't think you can punish it in Tekken Eight from my experience. But if you do things like this where you you're pressing a button. There's like a, fr they like freeze a little bit and then they'll finish the string and then you can punish them for it. That might not be the case with all moves, but a lot of armor moves generally weren't punishable in Tekken 8. Um, so I love that because Lily has pretty good armor moves. She has this one and she, in Tekken 8, she has back turn two now. So she has two really good armor moves because they very easily accessible. She has this out of all standing moves and she has this out of back turn. So only thing missing is a full crouch down forward or full crouch armor move. Oh, she has another one. She has her do glide transition, right? Uh, I'll have to pull up a clip of it because it's not a move in this game, but uh, excuse me, shine. Oh no, pause, 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 pay, pause. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So we have Lily's Tekken 8 move list right here. And this is. I didn't timestamp anything. Let me see if I can find it. So it's out of do glide. So it's do glide, quarter circle four, one plus two. And so they brought this move back. She had it in second six. They took it away. No, she had it up to tech and tag. They took it away. You can if they hit you during the armor move because they become, wait. You can if they hit you during it, the armor move become safer on block. Is that what it is? It's something like that. It's some like weird nuance where if you get hit, the, the, it's easier or not easier to punish. But yeah, he's right on the money. It, um, if you get hit, the properties of the move change a little bit, which is, I think, a great change because it kind of, it um, 
It adds an extra... I guess the word could be nuance. Adds another layer to it. Okay, cool. Wait, where did Duglide moves at? This is Sidestep. This is Platinum Grace. I think Duglide... No, these are grabs. I passed it. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah. Let me see. We're in this section now. So, you do Lily's do glide move by doing quarter circle forward or down, down, forward, forward. Quarter circle forward like that. What are they talking about? Okay. They also add little tricks on everything, which is cool. Okay. Great. So... Do glide. Press down to sh cancel moves and directly shift the crouching state. Shift to feisty rabbit during key. There is, I don't know if this is the case or not, but it is, it would be cool. In current Tekken 7, you're not able to do glide into feisty rabbit. If you go into it like this, you have to do a do glide transition. I hope they did change that because I would love to just have do glide accessible from like or Feisty Rabbit accessible from the regular do glide. But so we're almost there. Quarter circle forward. Does it again. I did this to make it easy to look at. Or was I trying to read those words? I think I was trying to read the words when I recorded this. Okay, almost there. That's a new move Lily has. Heat Engager. New move. Here it is. Absorbs an attack to power up and deal more chip on block. Oh, so that's how that happens. So there have been these clips where people will do an armor move and the opponent would do an armor move and they would take, they would lose a stack of their life. They would lose so much health because I guess like that multiplier, whenever you hit them in armor is like substantial. I guess it's like based on how much damage they do. And so it's just, it's something. <laughs> so let me see what homie's saying. Mm -mm. He tried to do the shaggy move with Lily, the back turn up forward, down forward, really fast into while sending moves for high crush. If the back turn three plus four is plus or at least negative safe, we could. Yo, I think that you're onto something. So this is what he's talking about, y'all. So with back turn, you're able to do up forward, down forward like that. And the up forward will turn you around but you're able to cancel that into while standing so you can do stuff like this oh mess it up maybe like that yeah let's see that so i'm gonna see if i can maybe set the computer to g do that and see if that beats jabs ah uh, not quick enough let me see you can do stuff like this though um and that might do it let me see yeah, like that. So depending on what move they do, you might be able to do stuff like that where it uh, crushes. So this way you go into crouch and you're able to do beat their jabs. A lot of characters, what they'll do is they'll do characters that have a 12 frame mid, they can just do a 12 frame mid and that would like beat you more, most option, but then you can block. Or now in Tekken 8, you will have an armor move. So you'll have an extra option to do out of back turn now. For, let's see here, let's keep it pushing. Okay, so I think we left off on Shine's video. Here we are. Look at that, that's so cool. Back turn, or uh, standing three is another really good move. Oh, that was awesome, that's what we're looking for. So standing three is, it tracks the one way, it is a, a string that Lily has, and on the second hit now, counter hits, you get a additional uh, but you get you get additional frame advantage, so you get to do all sorts of cool stuff now. Um, but I think that is going to be really important in Tekken Eight because Lily has a now buffed back turn, and she has ample ways to go into back turn. So by using these moves more, you will be able to establish a mix up that you can apply to your opponent. Um, a lot of people. I mentioned in Tekken 7, didn't really know Lily, uh, the matchup very well. So it was always up to the player in the match to uh, establish whatever mix up they wanted. There was stuff like, you know, um, back turn things that people had to look out for. But they often were, yeah, if you're playing Lily, you do this situation, it will beat everything that Lily has in back turn. Or you do this, 
and it'll be all this. In theory, it doesn't beat everything, but it's something that would actually carry a lot of weight in matches. But now you have stuff like back turn three, which is a homing mid that you don't have to finish. Uh, super cool move. Um, I have a string. I'll, I have a video later. I'll show you guys that does. It, it's, it, it can get, I think it's, it high crushes as well too. So very strong move to like kind of get comfortable with using. Oh, I didn't go back further enough. He did, uh, Lily's new string is 1-1 one, one out of jab. So I mentioned earlier how it goes into back turn. It has a counter hit. It, it can finish a string and if it counter hits, you get a launcher. But he goes into the back turn string just off of his one jab, which is amazing because jabs are great. I, I didn't need the parents to tell you, if no one's told you, jabs are amazing with Lily. And they just got better, so cool. So he does it in the beginning after getting gut punched. There it is. Look at that. And so she gets this for easy access into back turn, and she gets new moves out of back turn. And you see what I'm, you see what I'm putting down? You following me? Are you here? It's the coolest thing. And that oh shoot, that's the uh, the heat dash is what Jin just did there. All characters have it. If you do a heat engager into oh, oh. look how cool that oh. i'm gonna it's just it's all happening so fast i can't even let me do a slow-mo can i get a slow-mo playback speed we're gonna do like half speed this will sound weird but so yeah so back one do glide sidestep they're both on player one side that's why they look like that if ever you're on player one side and they're on player one side they'll go the same way she'll go she'll sidestep this way on player two instead of sidestepping into the background let me see what these there's like a heart block in the, the chat i can't see it let me see oh it's not let me i'm not signed into the chat i can't type that's all i'll just type it on my phone um where are we at Oh no, I'm not watching this one. We're watching this one. There we go. Down one, two. Look at that. Back turn down two. Hard knockdown. Set up. Oki. Runs up. Grab. Look at that. That was like amazing. That's so fun. He tried to do heat burst but got beat out. Heat burst or rage art. He didn't have enough time to do it. He does it again. It was fast enough to. That move was probably like 10 frames. 10 or 12 frames, it looks, feels like. Chip damage off of uh, Feist Rabbit one, two. Let's see, let's see. Does it again, look, chunky, chunky. Plus, and to wall standing four. I love that, love to see it. And we'll speed it up. It's gonna sound wonky if I don't. They said they are gonna nerf the combos. They, they did mention nerfing combos in Tekken 8. There were, so canonically, there have been games where the combos were kind of crazy. You could do the exact same move and they would just keep comboing infinitely in Tekken 4. And in Tekken 8, if you do a heat dash cancel, we saw earlier from December, they run at you. It changes the, the distance of the juggle. And so they won't go as far away. And some moves already don't push the opponent very far away in combos. So... People were able to do moves that were normally able to combo into repeatedly, like six or seven times. And they said they're going to nerf that. Well, that's what I speculate they're going to nerf. There are long combos in Tekken 8, but I, I believe they had that in mind. Or they knew it was going to be somewhat longer due to the mechanics that are in play. The tornado that they it sends them up, that's a new combo mechanic. It doesn't send them far away. It just sends them straight up and they land right in front of you. But so I think they're going to change some things when the, when, it, when the game gets released. We have four more months. <laughs> and then we'll all be playing Tekken 8. Yeah, exactly. King has infinite again. So they're getting they're nerfing stuff like that. Uh, Lily doesn't have anything like that. She I think Lily is pretty on, on spot uh, for them. There it is. Look how that uh, high crushed. 
Let me see. We'll slow it down one more time. It happens so fast. Stuff like that. If you're not aware of it, you miss it. Oh, no. It didn't high crash. It just beat the next move. Goes into voila. He burst. And that he burst is plus normally for everyone, so. Look at that. Just see, now it's minus 11. He got while sending four off of it. It was a gin round. It's cool. It's cool. It happens. It happens to the best of us. That's a free 50 50, dude. Nice. That was a cool combo. So, yeah, you can do like stuff like that on the wall now. Tiny meal. Right, cool. It's in the rank you get first to two, so this is the last one. First to two wins, and we'll, we can switch to the next video talk about something else. Dude, you're so right. Quarter circle four three is amazing. Voila. It's so sick, dude. Look, look, look. And quarter circle four two, I think it's to confirm as well, too, and it's safe. Oh, really? Hmm. I think it should be at least plus something on block. That's what they mentioned in some of the previous videos. Like whenever they talked about uh, Heat Burst, like with uh, Harada and uh, Michael Murray. I will say it might not, it's not extremely plus. It's close to zero because the situations are, you don't get as much plus frames as you would imagine because of the animation, but it's something, I feel like. New string for Jen. Nice, ah, nice, nice. Cool. Okay, I'm okay, I'm just... So cool. It, that alone makes Lily feel like so fresh and new. Did that oh, crush a mid? I'm not tripping. Did y'all see that too? It did. No, no, no. That was that was standing too. I think. <laughs> Dude, let me see. Where was that? Yeah, just crush standing too. Plus fifteen. Mm, I think plus 15 is too much. Like, I can maybe argue maybe plus 8, plus 7. But I don't think plus 15. But actually, it could be plus 15 because maybe you were plus enough to do a hop kick and they can't beat it or something like that. Plus enough to get a free launcher if they mash. Look how quick that is. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. The heat engagers are definitely plus something. They, you get tons of frame advantage. Yeah. Enough to get a free mix and continue pressure. I think it might be different because there's, let me, excuse me. There's two different situations with heat engagers where there should be plus frames. So you have your standard heat engager on hit that puts you into heat. That's plus something. That one might be plus 15. And then you're able to do a heat dash cancel after it. So you can do like that on block and it will, you will run up on them and they'll be blocking. That should be plus two. You can't low parry, so it's higher than plus 12. Oh, okay. It takes 12 frames to low parry, the more you know. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. That's good shit. Well, I guess it depends on the low, right? Unless you do, if you do a quick low, you can't low parry it. So like if they do like down four, it can't be low parry. Well, I think you need an additional frame to low parry. Actually, no. There's a situation in Tekken that pops up. So, 
I'm going to set the opponent to do quarter circle four, three plus four into a low. This is not the exact situation because the animations are different, but so that's plus 17. Um, P dash is plus five. Okay, okay. I can dig it. So she's going to do quarter circle four, three plus four into down four. So this is plus 17 in Tekken eight, in Tekken seven. And so I can't parry this. Yeah. I have to block it. And so if I did a low, like, let's say, I think down set, down one, two is the next fast low Lily has is uh, 18. If I do this, I can low parry it. Let me see. Yeah. So I think maybe it is 17 or something like that. But in certain situations, if you're so plus in tech and you can't low parry it, that's what Homie's talking about. So that situation is going to pop up after certain heat engagers. Good to know. Let's see. Oh, he didn't go into the do glide cancel. Look at that damage, dude. That's not even that unsafe. Sean was cooking this match. He was onto something. And that doesn't even hurt, bro. It's just a mix. I'll take a wall setting 4 4 any day if I get a free or a really good not low. Like, back turn down 2. It all balances out. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, nice side step. Oh, shine. You know, it happens to all of us. He just got caught not ducking a couple times, and ducking a couple times, and not blocking a couple times. <coughs> Voila! That's a really important situation, I think, that you're gonna see so much of. So, if you do a heat engager at the wall, not only do you get the wall splat, you get heat. So you get to do a whole tornado, which is your combo extender, and a heat dash if you wanted it. Crazy! Yeah, side steps do seem really strong in Tekken 8. I'm happy about that. Well, side steps have been strong for Lilies for like the last, for the entirety of our, you know, our existence. But even stronger now, I guess. So that's cool. Hi, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. That's Lily's heat smash. <laughs> so everyone in heat has access to heat smashes where you spend all of your heat and it gives you a... Oh, what happened? Homie's message disappeared. I hope he was saying something chill. Um, yeah, some side steps were nerfed. Like, a lot of uh, characters that are bigger, they don't have as good as side steps as characters that are smaller now. Or even their back dashes have been nerfed. Oh, hi! I was wondering what language that was. Brazil, hey, nice to see you, man. I love Brazil. Nice, nice to have you here. What's up, what's up? Um, right now, we're just talking about Tekken 8 and... The buffs, the nerfs, and the changes with Lily, and um, all that is Tekken 8 Lily. So, welcome. Nice to have you. I hope you feel at home. In my home, I guess. <laughs> Average sidestep and can sidestep pretty well. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that people can sidestep. Um, Lily has... Um, now. Oh, interesting enough. Let's talk about that now that you, you talk about it. Um, so, Lily has homing moves and actually let me see do, do, do. i think i have them written down on a on a google sheet so this is an excel spreadsheet <laughs> and so i wrote down all of lily's moves that she has her new moves i categorized them with the different properties that they have and stuff like that do i have homing moves do i have homing moves i failed you all i am so sorry let me see let me see no i have homing moves here so with Lily's homing moves, she has, I mean, look for them. Lily's homing moves are four, four, one plus two. I'll go over these and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make sure I have them all here and I'll show you what they look like. Four, four, one plus two. 
She has quarter circle four two one. She has this can't be all of them. She has back turn down three plus four. No, back turn down three plus four doesn't launch anymore. Back turn three four. This is incomplete. Back turn three four is now a homing move. Yeah, back turn down three plus four does not home anymore. You're right. I I just saw a video of me doing it. I'm like, this isn't correct. So yeah, let me go through the list here and make sure. So we have three plus four is a heat engager. Lily's new move. This is a homing move. I'll pull up the Tekken eight move list after this. We look at it all of them together. Three plus four is a homing move. She has, I think four three is still a homing move. But, but almost done. She doesn't have a lot, so it's, it's not going to take long at all. Um, I did I skip four or three? I did skip four or three. Four or three. Here it is. I think four or three is still a homing move. I'm going to I'm gonna pull up the second video to confirm a little bit. But homing. And then she has like pseudo homing moves. Quarter circle four, three plus four does not track anymore. Heartbreaking, I know. Um, I think it still should be actually. I don't. It was very easy to, easy to step into older Tekkens, unfortunately. So I think it it may still be the case. Um, and then back turn three. That is not a high. This is from the old one. Uh, it's a mid mount. Oh well, here it is mid high string. Yeah, exactly. So he's talking about this is move that Lily has, uh, where she says Ellie Gaunt. Or early Gante or something. She says elegant in French, and it's a homie move. Super really, super good, super cute move to heat engager. Okay, cool. So I think that's all of them. The list is updated. Let's look at the move list. Um, this, these are combos. Let me. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Don't show an ad. Okay, cool. Still combos, combos, combos. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So this move is done with three plus four and it's a homing move. Look at that. It doesn't always have that effect. She has that effect because she's in heat and she did heat dash. But that move is homing and it's so good. I think. Oh snap. So her heat engager three plus four is homing and her heat smash that starts with the same move it's also homing because lily needs that you know we need our tracking every now and then okay and that is plus on block so you get mix amazing and then these these are all the mechanics that lily gets and he they explain the different heat mechanics so i'll, I'll just finish this and we'll go into the homing moves so you, oh, is that? No, this isn't homing, Feisty Rabbit. No, yeah, it is. So this is a new homing move. Feisty Rabbit 3 is now tracking. So in Tekken, tag, no, Tekken 7, Tekken 7. Tekken 7, Feisty Rabbit 3 does not track. They also changed the, uh, the hit animation a little bit. So that's awesome. Mm. I definitely think they wanna, I, I, they did a lot of changes. Um to moves for Lily in Tekken 8 to put more focus on heat mechanics and her unique properties that she has in certain situations. So they buffed Feisty Rabbit, the side step on Feisty Rabbit now, which is awesome. She can do a second Feisty Rabbit in heat. She buffed the Feisty Rabbit low. It's homing now. It counter hit launches. It knocks down in heat. Feisty Rabbit 2 is a new move she has. It now... We have a, another mid option. I think this one's faster than Feisty Rabbit 4, um, but also a heat engager. And they switched around some homie moves uh, homies talking about in the chat um, to different moves that would benefit her more in this game. Um, her back turn shenanigans are heavily buffed, which is, it's been a big part of her kit as she's been in every iteration of Tekken um, from five to six, is tag to seven to eight now. And that's amazing to see because you get to, you will see a lot more 
not just character diversity, but you will see a lot more move diversity and player expression in Tekken 8 because all of these moves have buffed properties. It would be, you can see, um, 50, yeah, it a good chunk of the match, Lily's now in back turn. You'll see people like me play Lily, and they play they play people like Kudans, who's amazing players, and they can win by doing. I wouldn't even say a third of her kit. I would say a win by using a quarter of her kit, a fifteen percent of her kit, because they the other stuff isn't doing anything. <laughs> and it's their with their way they're playing um, and the way the game was designed in Tekken Seven, they didn't have to do a lot of stuff because the things they were doing did plenty, you know. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because we're just going through the heat mechanics right now. So, heat provides a lot of character diversity for all the characters. And it's added a whole other layer. So, it's super cool. Excuse me, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so, this is the double one. This is super cool because it all has great side step potential. That's buffed. That did 18 damage of chip. This is what we're talking about. This is the heat burst that everyone has. And now, heat engagers. That tracks the one way. Exactly. Homie said he did not know Lily had a stance called Feisty Rabbit until Tekken 8. She's had Feisty Rabbit since Tekken 5. Dark Rose, to be fair, maybe he didn't play that much. But it wasn't something you would see players do. I, for one, have been using this... Since day one, I've loved Feisty Rabbit. Feisty Rabbit 3, the move that now launches on counter hit, launched on normal hit, Tekken 5 and Tekken 6, and it was not used. To be fair, Lily wasn't top tier, and maybe their pro players weren't using her, and maybe just didn't see, but we have reason to use it again. We have more reason than before to use it. I, I, it was my point, but... And then this is... I think I missed a move. So sorry, y'all. I got, I got so excited talking about the justice for Feisty Rabbit, okay? This is Ellie Gaunt, Black Swan, homing, homing, heat engager. And these moves, they say they wanted to make these moves um, to kind of let people know when these things are happening in match, it's a huge shift in momentum. It's amazing. This recovers heat, which is cool. Amazing. I think you can still even cancel into do blood after the second one. So you can kind of visually do things similar to this in Tekken 7. So things like this, um, that's a single single feisty rabbit. You can do glide cancel. This is effectively what they did. They made it easier to do this. It does it by itself now, and you can still go into do glide like that. So you have and it's whenever you do two of them, it refills your heat gauge. So certain characters can do certain things that will refill your heat gauge. So let's say you're having someone that's turtling you out or you're full screen, you want them to run up on you. You can now sit in heat from full screen and just recharge your heat, you know? It's not the most recharging. Like, um, you're not gonna be full heat by doing this. I think if you do this nonstop back to back, you will get enough heat to, you will get enough heat to stay in heat. You won't die, you won't lose heat if you, if you keep doing this. Um, if you do it fast enough, I believe you should be able to maybe plus a little bit, but they're not going to let you do 15 of these, but eventually, if you have life lead and you're full screen, eventually they're going to run up on you, but it's still nice to have, you know, this is her heat smash. One of them, she has two of them. This is her other one, which is a low, which combos. If you do this move. Oh, this is a rage art. If you do, um, I'll back up. If you do this heat engager um, on the opponent, or this heat smash, sorry. If you do this heat smash on the opponent and the wall's close enough, you will combo. It will wall splat. You get a lot. This is a launcher. At the wall, not always, like, but super good. Super good. And I think her, her first one, if you're on a... Um, I don't think we've played on a ground break stage yet, but Lily has her first heat smash, I believe will hit, will be, uh, it should break the ground because it's like a hard knockdown. And yeah, homie's listening. So Kings grabs and um, heat will refill his heat gauge. 
Leroy's parries will refill his heat gauge, and I'm sure we'll have more as a game. You know, there's 32 characters on release, so hey. Oh, great. This is Lily's new string. Yeah, oh, yeah. Lily's rage art? Great question. So, you will you see that um, Lily's rage art no longer jumps? Because at, at first, her rage art, she would do 4-4-3, four, four, and it'd be full screen. It would go uh, through fireballs. And he asks, does um, Lily's rage art still hit far? And it does. So, this is... I did a combo, but this is cracked it, um, look at this wait wait it, the combo is cracked this is not from the cracked beta <laughs> but it, it still has the same range so look at this well sorry <laughs> so full she just completely spins around and hits you so it still moves very far forward, um, which is great. They didn't take that away, so she still has four, two, three into her rage art combos. It's still something that she has. And then that was a Tekken World Tour event. We're gonna go back to the videos now. Now we're on, we're on the move list. Okay, cool. Oh no, I didn't pause it, sorry. Okay, there we go. But yeah, this is the move I was talking about. So, okay, here, I, I gotta I got to say it again. Gotta say, okay. It is, oh, I gotta report this so the world can see this. It, it, no, 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 it's not broken. It's just right, okay? It's, it's, it's chef kiss. So Lily's new move called tricolor, color, I may be saying it wrong. Um, three hit string. First hit, 10 frames. One hit, or one, <laughs> first hit is 10 frames, plus one on block. Second hit, 1-1, one, one, puts you in back turn, most likely minus 4. Lily's minus 4 on a, a lot of strings that put your back turn. So she gets this exact same mix across many, many different moves. And then third hit string is a mid, wall splash, counter hit launcher. The full string, if you get hit by one, the first hit of this string, and they do 1-1-3, one, one, I'm sorry, I thought it was 114. My apologies. If you do 113 and the first hit's counter hit, you get a full counter hit string off of a jet. Groundbreaking. Like, do you hear me? <laughs> like, imagine you're just chilling or whatever and you're at the wall. You do down three into 113. How much damage does this do? How much? Let me see. 29 plus 17 is what? Like 50, 56? 56 damage? Not 46. Four, 46 damage before you even start your juggle. 10 out of 10. Roses, okay? <sighs> One, two, same thing. Same gist. This low is nerfed. It no longer got counter hit knocked down. As of... Oh, let me stop recording now. Yes, exactly. This is Lily's revenge on Lee G. Clef Cannon. Julia G. Clef Cannon. We, we have been, we were a, <laughs> we were the minority. <laughs> we were marginalized, okay? Um, but they nerfed this, the third hit of this no longer counter hit knocks down. That's okay. Um, it was, maybe we'll get it back. It was useful. So chip on block, it says on heat, it powers up. It uses a little, all your moves that are buffed during heat, use a chunk of your heat during the heat. Also nerf, same uh, low string. Same thing, doesn't tornado anymore. That's not a thing anymore. Or doesn't screw anymore. Now the moves are tornado moves. I've been, yo, I've been talking about this move. It, so a lot of characters have really good strings and they're abused at high level. I would argue this move is just as spammable. You have Standing three, which is long range, tracks to one side of Lily, puts you in back turn, plus one or something. Plus, what is it, plus four? How plus does this move on hit? Minus three. Uh, <laughs> but that's not bad, you know? We Minus three for Lily in back turn is not bad. So do not be, you see Lily's backside here? 
you think, oh, I can do I, this, you know, I can attack Lily. She's just in back turn. You cannot. At minus three, I have back turn one, which is eight frames. This will beat 12 frame moves. This will, oh, well, wow. let's just, okay. So if you're minus three, you have something that will beat 11 frame or beat 12 frame moves. And so with that being said, Lily has ample moves that high crush now. She has back turn down two, newest move, counter hit knockdown. She has back turn down four, stronger than generic down four, hopefully. Doesn't, it, the animations change, we haven't made it just yet. She has back turn three, three plus four, back turn three, four, I, we'll get there. I can't remember the move input. But she's able to crush highs and get chunky damage because you decided to press a button. I'm scared to use that 3-2-3 three, three screen because they might duck or worse jab me before I hit 3. Well, actually, let me see. So, that's fair. We should be fearful of this. Well, I should, I, I'd should. say we shouldn't be fearful of this, but we should be aware of this. So, because I, I've been, I've been <laughs> in the lab cooking. I, I will say, like, 3-1 is now a heat engager. I If your opponent is like, he's just doing the high, I'm gonna duck it. You are now in heat. You are now plus 15, apparently. And so, dude, like, look, look, look. Okay, okay, duck, cool, cool, cool. Bam, I ducked, look, 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 look. Oh. It's so hype. It's so cool. <laughs> you know, let's take a water break, you guys. Let's just, let's, let's center ourselves. Let's just, mm. Mm, 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 mm. There is risk associated with doing strings, and that's okay, because when you're in the heat of the moment, and you're doing jabs, you're doing down four ones, you're sidestepping, you're doing other strings, you are mixing them up. Like, you know, you have 15,000 moves to use that have 15,000 different properties, and... If they, you know, on paper, if you say Lily 323, three, that's a mid high high string. I know to duck the second hit. Good for you. You you have a they have character knowledge. They should respect us and should know our character. And then okay, three one, mid, mid, minus twelve. Awesome. But if it's round three Evo and they're we're lit, you know, everyone's cooking and you know, you, you we miss punishes, you miss strings, and like that's how you get people flustered. You know, this on hit, you can't duck it. You know, then it's like, oh crap, I got hit with it that time. I was supposed to, next time I'll duck the string. It's all it's just it's an overload. You know, you can't you can't get them all, and that's that's where we're banking on that. We're banking that they don't get one of them, so that way we can get away with murder. Okay, amazing. Just the bees knees. <laughs> okay. But you could also go into Dewglai with this. So that's an added layer. And if they press, like your homie's mentioning, he's afraid they may jab them when the second it comes out. If it's space right and all the cards align, you will now get a counter hit into a free additional hit. So I think it balances out. Same move. That does chip on hit on block and it also still homing heat engager. Love it. 12 frame punisher. Yeah, 4 3 still homing. They did nerf this move. 4-3 is no longer a counter hit launcher. You will get a mini combo. You can do 4-3 on counter hit. It does uh, a similar animation to 3 plus 4 heat engage or heat dash. You get a quarter circle 4-3. But you also get, you put them in this um, situation where they're going to wake up like this. Um, a lot of moves will put the opponent into face up, head towards. Excuse me. And this is where they are going to be in a situation where if they still have the similar wake up situs, a wake up um, mechanics to Tekken 8, sorry, to Tekken 7, where they will wake up, you can hold back to wake up. So if you do 4-3, this move right here, counter hit in Tekken 8, you will, they will do some spin in the air and they will fall onto the ground like this. In situations like this, your opponent, um, if you don't hit them, they can wake up a couple of different ways. I'm gonna lay on the ground to show you. Um, you can side roll. You can side roll and get up. You can do a get up kick. You can do a spring kick. Or you can hold back. Or you can roll forward. 
but if the opponent holds back because they are in a situation like this, I'm gonna see if I can get the opponent to do it for us. They get up like that, and we want that to happen because if they get up, I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> we want that to happen because that gives us um, it's it effectively then becomes a tech trap. Uh, they may get away from me here. Yeah, okay. And they won't. Okay, so. We do have to find... You side roll. If you're on the ground, you can side roll by pressing square to go into one direction. Or down square to go the other direction. Side rolling is different than tech rolling. Because in tech rolling, you get up by pressing triangle or, tri triangle or square or X or circle. This is important. Let me record this. People may need to know this. Okay. So there's this thing called side rolling. I'll explain it from the beginning. Uh, side rolling is done whenever you're on the ground. You can press square to side roll. And you will side roll into... Is this pressing? Yeah. You'll side roll in one direction. You can also um, go the other direction by pressing down in that button. So you'll side roll this way. You are so welcome. I'm glad you appreciate this information. And if you do... If you do that but hold down, you won't get up. So if you the opponent's waiting for you to get up, they will do. We have to, I'm, I'm about to teach y'all some messed up stuff to you. But I'm also gonna teach you how to deal with it. That way you know how, so it doesn't happen to you, but you can do it to other people. So yeah, let me see. Yeah, you if you do side roll, it effectively, so okay. It's getting overloaded, overload. Um, side roll press square you'll go up down square you'll go down but if you do if you hold down i think after you side roll they will do an additional roll and you will not get up and so i'm gonna set the opponent to wake up right now we have them set up to wake up backwards which is another situation another way they can get up you get up this way by holding back this isn't all bad in some situations you want to wake up this way um, so they get hit, they wake up backwards by holding back. And if they do this, in Tekken 7, you get a really nice setup. But in Tekken 8, you kind of don't. We may have to find something else because they changed some of our moves. But you can do 3 plus 4 and to 3 plus 4 too. And they can't block that. I'm so serious. It's set to guard all. They cannot block that setup. They have to, like, get up a different way. I'm gonna. I hope we get something to replace. I hope we find something out that would give us a similar mix-up because that is the bee's knees. The amount of times I've done that, and if you're in some cheeky situations, like if she's close enough to the wall and you do this this setup, you're gonna get a wall splat. Bam, combo because they they got up in a way that you were prepared for, and so I'm gonna talk about side rolling now. So there is tech rolling in Tekken, and when you tech roll, you're generally invincible and you can't um you can't get hit when you tech roll and so it's just called a side quick roll or some people call it a tech roll so this in practice mode if ever you're labbing this the the the, um, the ground technique is going to trump the stand-up technique they're going to do this first every time unless it's a hard knockdown i think um so i'm going to down three they're just going to get up quick just like that we do when i, I rest in peace back turn three before two dude it's gone but never forgotten if they get up like this you do that by pressing square or x yeah there are a lot of people that you it's important even in Tekken 8 because people didn't know how to get up in Tekken 8 you could take advantage of it and just keep spamming the same thing because the get up system if you if you don't know how to get up properly it can be taken advantage of but yeah if you press x triangle any button you will just get up very quick um there's not too many setups that I know of that would take advantage of this. Um, if I'm at the wall, let me, I'm gonna do this to get him a little closer. Um, yeah, like, if you get up like this, you are susceptible to a mix-up um, because you're gonna get up instantly. They, the timing is forced. It's gonna be the exact same timing every time you do it. Um, and so worst case scenario, if this situation happens to you, you're either gonna get hit with a mid or get hit with a low or get hit with something. So it's like, but you can't parry at this time period because it's you don't have enough frames to parry if they do it, they move fast enough. But this is a great time to go for 50-50. And so Lily has 
down four three or whatever. She has back one. You can do whatever you want on a tech roll. You know, do down four three plus four. Um, we haven't found like a, a Oki situation where we can take advantage of it. There is some characters like Shao Yu that has up four one plus two, or she has um, a move that will jump over the opponent quick enough and take advantage of the way you got up, and it will uh, basically uh, what's the word? It will you can't block it if you get up a certain way. So Lily has that situation too. Yeah, that we used to have a setup where you can do up three plus four, where you're able to. It's not in this build of the game because it's been removed. Um, it's it, as of what I know now, it's not in Tekken eight. Um, but you used to be able to do this, and they would tech at the. I actually have a video of it. Um. This, there used to be a really fun setup that Lily had. A lot of characters had it. It's been a, a thing in um, Tekken to be able to jump behind the opponent when they tech roll. And you don't have this at the wall anymore. I'm going to show you the... the. It's in Life of a Lily player number one where I, 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 I showed it for the first time, I think. Um... Where is that video? Oh, wait. I know where it is. It's like one of my most watched videos. Lit. Love it. So it's like right here in the middle. So if you previously, you could do a tech trap where you would put them at the wall and you would do up three plus four and it would catch them teching and they couldn't block it. Now at the wall, characters don't have that anymore. But some characters have that in neutral and so with lily she does have it in neutral uh we i don't think you have enough frames to do it on the ground in most situations unless you're it's very specific and it's set up properly but i'm gonna set us to stand up straight excuse me um we're gonna stand in the middle and then i'm gonna do a tech trap so if you do uh this combo and jump over Oh, I didn't do it right. But in short combos, you have enough time to run up, uh, get behind them like that, and it should, if you land it properly, they will tech, and you will, they can't block it. I, like, I think it works better if they tech the other way. Let me try this. Wow, it's just not hitting. It, you know, it's, it's timing dependent and stuff like that. Oh, it's not working for me. <laughs> no way. But in theory, there are situations where you're able to get behind the opponent and take advantage of their tech trap and they can't block it. Um, this is a cool thing to keep in mind because, hey, we love good mix-up. Um, to be continued, I guess. Um, but there are situations like that where you're able to tech behind them and it will catch them slipping. I think, do I have a clip of this? How can I show this to you? It's still a mix-up, you know, you still get behind them. But if, in theory, if timed properly, you will be able to get behind them and launch them. The down, one, two, three, the jab is back for juggling now. It is. Are you talking about... Yeah, it. I, I, dude, I actually love that combo. Um, Really cute, really cute. Where is it? I have a video of it. So, because Lily down, two, two, three doesn't launch anymore, you are able to do down, two, two, three into jab confirms. I think it's like... Yeah. You get stuff like this now. Maybe not all of that. But you get stuff like that now. <laughs> That's the counter hit I was talking about with 114, or 113, excuse me. Love to see it. Matterhorn. That's a new move. Also, tornadoes. One cool thing about. Um, this is so sick. Um, one cool thing about a lot of Lily's moves in Tekken 8 is they are launchers or armor moves and also tornadoes. So we're gonna we got distracted. We'll hop back into the move list. But you can do stuff like Matterhorn, and if the opponent's airborne, they will be it'll combo, it'll tornado. And so let's say you're trying to get someone with a sidestep Matterhorn and they hop kick. If the Matterhorn hits them airborne, you'll get the combo after that. And Lily's armor move. Uh, Angel Heart, if you do that move on the opponent and they're airborne, you get a combo. So that's amazing. Corsica 4-3, the move that we just got that we love so much, combos if, they, if they're airborne. So 
lots of really great stuff there because it, hot cakes are very good, but now this is something that will help us versus people who are likely to be airborne a lot. Forward, forward, still counter hit launches, which is great. It, you can still get behind them if you want to do like an uh, back turn setup. It's a little harder. You have to like run up and like do a side step, but it's still possible. Buffed, you get, um, actually, I don't think it's buffed. I think the moves around this move have been buffed. So this is, actually, it, it the property's now changed. Four one plus two no longer hard knockdowns. On counter hit four one plus two gives you plus frames to get an extra button. So you can do, we have a video of it. Um, you can do four one plus two into one plus two or four one plus two into jabs, um, like this. That's amazing. You know we've had this fourteen frame counter hit move and it it's been a little lackluster in some situations because you don't get a lot from it. But 46 damage and a knockdown sounds good to me. Um, back to the move list. 3 plus 4. Still knocks down. Um, this move's still great. Love to see it. Mix up. Goes underneath some highs. You like Lily Side Step 3? I like Lily Side Step 3 too. I like li Lily Side Step 1. Okay, that's buffed. That move is now... Oh, it did it again. Sorry. I'll go back. Lily's down for 4-4 four, four is buffed. It's now 13 frames, natural hit combo. So if you do this move and they get hit by the first one, you get to do the second one. And it's no longer launch punishable. It might be minus 14, it might be minus 13, but it's no longer minus 15. So buffed all around. Love to see it. It's also hit confirmable. I don't know if it's still hit confirmable in second 8 because the properties have changed. But in Tekken 7, you can hit confirm. It didn't. You, you couldn't really see it. Yeah, it's a, a small screen shake, and if you look for it, it is hit confirmable. Hit confirmable plus one. And so, but minus 15, so you don't see it too often because it's, but I think it's a good move. It, it has, this is plus five. You don't, you won't see that too often. Plug out the plus five into another move, but I, I'd argue it's not bad. It's not bad. It's something. It's something. Let's hop back into the move list. Three plus four, love to see. What am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, okay. <laughs> you heard you can use that as a punish now. You can use it as a punish now. It's now 13 frames, so we technically have a specific 13 frame punish if you want to use it for different things. If you don't want them to get knocked down, you want them. if you prefer them standing. A lot of times I preferred my opponent standing with my punishment, and now we have more options to do so. So, hey. We still love... This move was like, how can I explain? Like, if you were a Lily player in Tekken 6 and you were using this move, people would, like, they were so angry. You would get hate mail. This move is so good. It's so move, it's been, it's so good. It's been called cheap. It's been called a number of things. It's been called a bad move because you can sidestep it or whatever. This move launches at range two. Long range launcher. And it's safe. This move should be used. You should understand where you can put this move in where where you can space it where you can you know how you can properly use it versus different opponents use use cartwheel okay it's actually a round off if you you know being specific but use cartwheel okay down one two four down two two three so down two two three is good, uh, because the down two two actually jails. So I'm hoping there might be some frame changes on standing three and down two two. I think it's plus one. Yeah, it's a, instead of being minus four on block. If you frame it right, this move can be plus one. Um, with down two two, down two two is a mid high string. With a mid launcher or a mid ender and a high ender on block, you can't. If you do this move without a delay, down two two is hit. Um, it jails, and so when a move jails, you can't duck the move. And so I'm gonna report that too. I've been I've been trying to I've been trying to make a video on down two two, and so this is important. I, I can explain it to you guys in real time and put it in a video later. So down two two on block 
if you do it without delaying it, it will jail, which means you can't duck it. And so it's that's something you can do to help mix up 3-2 because 3-2, um, one of the moves tracks to the left, the other move tracks to the right, but they have different purposes, but they still have similar timing. You can place them in similar situations and you can get some some like, you know, some mix out of it. This move is also heavily delayable. And so, um, oh, it's, it's set to block, but I don't think it's as hit confirmable as the other things we've been talking about today, but it is. <laughs> this character is so cool. Um, <laughs> down to two. Down triangle triangle is hit confirmable and it jails on hit or jails on block and it goes into strings that are also very delayable. So if you do this string down to two, the second hit, if it counter hits, you get the free, the last hit for free. So stuff like that. But when you when you do get that counter hit, you don't have very long. You have to actually finish the string. Well, maybe for that one, but uh that one's the mid, which is launch punishable. It's minus 17. And then the high is minus three. So you, this is also a strat you would see a lot of Tekken 6. People would do this into size that Matterhorn because it worked. <laughs> and so I have been using these strings more because I feel it's important for me to use all my tools and it will work. <laughs> so hey, get into that. Um, Back to the move list. So yeah, don't be a fool, use your tools. That was a slogan I made for a tournament I made. Phenomenal. And so, that is the new tornado. So you no longer have screws. So a screw is, um, they look like this. It sends them away, spins them like that. But now that's no longer the move. It's, they're now called tornadoes. So you would do a tornado move. They're indicated by this little this little spin icon, those are your tornado moves. That's how you continue your combos. Down three. Oh, funny st oh. <laughs> Tekken's so lit. Down three. It's not a new move. We've had it for, we've had it since Tekken six, actually. It wasn't in Tekken five, but this move is so good. That move is 18 frames plus one minus 12 on block. So what that means is you get to hit them before they hit you, generally speaking, and it is not that punishable. You can spam that move. It hits very far away. On counter hit, you get additional plus frames. I was, uh, so Arsalan Ash, the guy that just won EVO, a phenomenal, he's won many things. Arsalan Ash was like in Dallas for a tournament. We were playing Tekken at a hotel. And I was playing him. He was like, down three, you use this move more. This move is good. And ever since, I was like, you're right, Ash. I will. I will use down three more. And so since then, my eyes have been open to the power of down three. Use that move. Super good. Super good. Down one plus two, still an armor move. Down three plus four, or tornado, it has a red icon. Look, this is what I was talking about earlier. So four, three on counter hit has the exact same animation as down back three on normal hit. So the move still knocks down on normal hit. You still get the setup. In Tekken 7, you get the same setup. And so this here, it, it's a different uh, animation, but this is another situation where they're gonna be back turned and you can tech trap like that. That's something a uh, homie was asking for some tech traps, some cool stuff. I think Lily favors um, back turn situations like this because it's very easy. She has very long range moves that will catch them if they're back turn. People think they can just roll backwards, but you can't because Lily's can reach long enough to get you. But Lily has a situation after a couple of different moves. Oh, we won just one more, a little bit. But that counter hit launches and it is, you get a different animation. Still similar situation, but different animation. Like that. This move now launches on natural hit now. That move still launches on counter hit. Back one four is now a tornado move. So I think combos that repeat themselves are super cool. So you get stuff like this. Uh, I'm drop. I can't. Whenever you want to show something to someone on YouTube, it never works. So you get stuff like this. And now we're tornado now. So you get to do... If they are jumping at you, like, ridiculous. So let's say I'm going to do down for one. If they jump, that's going to be a tornado now. You get a full combo off of that because they were in the air. Super cool. 
that move transitions into Dew Glide, which is amazing. Actually, both of these moves transition into Dew Glide. The um, video didn't show it, but uh, moves like back to one and back one will go into Lily's stance called Dew Glide. And Dew Glide has been buffed. You will. It has. There's two new moves you can do out of Dew Glide. It is quarter circle four, one plus two, new armor move. She has uh, quarter circle four, three, uh, move that hits grounded. Yeah, I think that. And now, uh, um, when moves are counter hit, like back one on counter hit, well, now you will be plus enough to do um, back, uh, quarter circle four, two, one. So back one has been buffed. Back two, one has been buffed because on counter hit, you now get back turn one, four if you're in back turn. So a lot of these strings, you know, have been buffed. So, hey, get comfortable with using them now in Tekken 7 because in Tekken 8, they're going to be amazing, okay? You're going to be you're gonna be leagues ahead of everyone else if you know how to get off the ground, use your strings, and if you know how to use heat. I think if you have those three things going for you, you will be able to do a fantastic job and make it, generally speaking, at least, you know, green ranks may be like a little bit blue ranks and uh, ranked. It's 224 in the Philippines. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Well, hey, you know, this will be on YouTube later, so feel free to check, um, pick up where you left off. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, have a nice night. <laughs> um, and so if you know how to use these strings, you'll do amazing in Tekken 8. You'll do amazing in Tekken 7 if you, you know, still know how to use your strings properly and how to get off, get off the ground. And so, yeah, super good. This is another move that's very, um, has so much potential because back to one by itself leaves you facing forward. Back to one holding back, you will be facing backwards now. Back to one holding forward, you will now do glide. And so, heart to you, but I can't type for some reason on the, oh, actually, no, I can type in here. Well, heart anyway. <laughs> but you have three different uh, three way mix up off this one move, you know, just by using different situations with it. Back turn, facing forward, or do glide. Amazing. Feisty Rabbit. Back turn one plus two. That move, so it used to be very slow in Tekken 6. Um, she would go ha, and then she would hit you and it was a counter hit launcher now it's a lot faster so the situations you use it are different and i don't think it's as punishable as it once was and it doesn't counter hit knockdown anymore or counter hit launch but so in situations where your opponent forces you to get up or you're they're right this close to you because it moves back and forth so fast you will make moves with and you will hit them before the next move comes out so a little different but it has a usage still Back turn is called mirror image. Lily's unblockable. She has two different ones. This move apparently is good. Um, <laughs> I didn't know. Um, oh, me. It used to counter hit launch in season two, three maybe. Now it is. It's a safe knockdown move. You get quarter circle forward three off the ground or a down three with your preferred move that hits grounded. If the opponent's trying to tech, you can do things like up three plus four. You can do it in Tekken now, actually. Do stuff like this. It will hit them if they try and get up. So yeah, that's something. Let me see. I'm thinking of something cute. Ah, nah, it didn't work. Well, actually, you get stuff like this. You can do a, you get an off axis uh, transition. And then we'll keep pushing. But uh, there is some wake up uh, situation. The During the connection network test, the you didn't have access to all the options in a practice mode. You could not change the setup mechanics in the the connection network test. You could only stand up. So if you knock the opponent down, they will always do a forced get up. But apparently um, there is some okay situation that are slightly different and you are able to float people again. So, well, I let me change that. Um, you used to be able to pick people up that would be on the ground Like if they're rolling towards you. I think I can kind of show you what it kind of looks like the Get up system has changed a little bit it used to be a front roll and back roll and so when they're knocked down like this on it They have to do the cross chop actually That's not in here 
Um, but if you forward roll into cross chop, you can be floated. It kind of looks similar to if you were to uh, do a tech trap on the opponent, they don't get up. You can do stuff like uh, stuff like this. And that's called a float. You would float them off a lot of get up situations, then that's not the case anymore. You can get up uh, generally a bit safer in some situations. But there is someone told me during a previous uh, uh, stream I had, if you do up back one into quarter circle four, three hits grounded, in some wake up situations, it will float them. And I'm not talking about off a spring kick either. So there's some there's some juicy stuff that can be that might be available to us later once we get the game. Let's see, we have up 3-3. Three, three. This move is a little, um, generally speaking, up 3-3 three, three is normally just used for combos. Um, but there is slight mix-up potential available for it. Uh, you can do up 3 into do glide, and the move is minus 15 on lock, or um, block. You're able to make it minus 14. So, if you do up 3, do glide, frame perfect, side step, and block, you can make it minus 14. So, who knows, you might need it. But if you do the full string, you can just be interrupted out of it. Same if that has that move hasn't changed in um, Tekken 8. You can use it a lot more in combos because of how the combo system has changed. Um, but still the uh, same move. Still high crushes, still low crushes. Up 3 plus 4. Not changed. Not changed. Still the same thing. Kind of sidestep. You can do it out of back turn. Hop kick, we love it. This move has changed a little bit, so instead of, uh, it no longer uh, knocks down. So if you do this, it will do a hard knockdown. But now in Tekken 8, it will, it might have had this uh, in the past, but if you do up forward 4, it will, it will, they'll still be in the air, and you can do up forward 4, 3, and it, it will tornado them. So it's now a combo extender. It also is a slight mix-up. You don't, you don't see it too often, but... Let's see if it has the same tried and true minus four as all of other Lily's uh, back turn moves. Oh, it's minus seven. So this mix is a little bit different. Um, up four, four by itself is minus 12. I, I didn't know that. But up four, four back turn is minus seven. So you now can do stuff like this. You can do, you can finish the string, which is minus nine. So they can't interrupt it. You have to sidestep the move, but you can now go into back turn and you have mix now. You can do up forward four into one of your back turn homing moves. You can do up forward four into back turn two, or up forward four to back turn three, the new move, or up forward four down to the low. So spicy, you know, you have different tools to use at your um at your disposal. Exposure? Disposal. Different tools at your disposal. Uh, this is the same. It has it still has the, the wall crush animation. That's in the move was now cool. You know. So I say this because <laughs> they added the up neutral hop kick into the move list, but Lily's down for it one isn't in the move list. It's hilarious. It's like it's so funny. I don't know if they forgot about it, but it hasn't been in Lily's move list since like Tekken 5 DR. Which is so interesting that they skip over it. Still launches, but no longer an armor move. No longer launches, but you get a mini juggle. Root of Evil, same move. One of our homie moves. If you hold it, it can be plus or an unblockable. This move is powered up with heat, so that's cool. Does chip. I love these little notes that they have on move. They have like little things to keep in mind. Lily's sand hit still the same, except now you can counter. Hit, you can um, launch after Lily's counter hit. Actually, I think that's so cool. Let me go back. Um, I think they changed how the counter, the move counter, pops up. Oh, okay. I thought it was showing you which part of the move actually combos, because certain parts of ten hits don't combo, but some do. So if you make it to the end of this, the last four hits combo. If you have the first two hits, the first two hit combo. So certain moves you get hit by certain things in a 10 hit, you can't block the next sequence. So it's, it's just a knowledge check. But now you can combo off of that. You can do uh, Lily's Heat Burst and maybe Lily's Heat, uh, four, quarter circle four three, but you get, a, you get a combo off of that. So 
same thing, you know. She's had the 10 hits since she was released. She still has a mini combo too. So that hit right there, on the third hit where she does like kind of, it looks like submissive heal. If your opponent presses and it's a counter hit, the three plus four is guaranteed after. But also it's minus 15. So it's hit confirmable, you can see it. Like if you're doing the string, let's say you're doing the, you want to do a 12 frame punish and you want to do a counter hit. So that will set the opponent to uh, randomly guard and I'll set the computer to random counter hit. Well, actually, I'm going to set it to... Yeah, we'll do both. We'll set it to random counter hit and random uh, guard. So so that's 2-1. You want to finish the string? Oh, wait. two. Nah, I don't want to do all of that because 4 one's a counter hit now. Um, we'll just set it to... Uh, Yeah, I love Lily too. I'm just gonna count. I'm just gonna do the string. I'm sorry. So you do four, one, three, and the three is gonna counter hit. It looks like that, and you get to hit him on the ground too. So if you see, does it look different? Yeah, it looks a little bit different. You can see it. They go. Their head goes a little bit lower, and you get to maybe get a grounded hit. You get quarter circle four three and Tekken eight most likely. But that's you know a little knowledge check for you. But Duff, you want to visually see that it hit them or that they press a the button. Otherwise, if they know about it, they can launch you for it. That move is now, oh, I didn't mean skip it so fast, but while sending one, two is now buffed. Um, it, I believe it's the same plus frames, but I'll slow it down because it's, it's, it's moving kind of fast. Um, yeah, while sending one, two is low, <laughs> It's gonna sound funny. Lily Wall setting one two is her thirteen frame punish, I think, and it's a mid uh, mid high string, so they can duck the second hit. But on block, you know, or on on hit, they can't duck, and you're plus eight, and it has a low at the end of it now. But now it has a mix up, so you do Wall setting one two into do glide to if they know the string, they're gonna think they're gonna do a low. But now you can mix them up. You can. One cool thing about Lily's quarter circle four or three, that the new one she has, is it is safe as of now. <laughs> and so you're able to go into do glide and do quarter circle four or three and it's a free knockdown. So in situations that I'm about to like kind of we're about to get to, you can do quarter circle four one two into the new kick, and the kick will hit them if they duck. So it's a free mix. So while sending one two. And it, you can go into do glide now by holding forward. So she has a new do glide extension. And we can speed it up now. Wall setting two. So these these are this move now launches though. Um, I will say wall setting three is a great move if you are aware of your opponent's wake up options and how they can punish you. It might even be a good move for people who just aren't ready for it. So it is launch punishable. But it has a second hit that it will she'll be airborne when you do it so it's just you know I, i'm yawning because i'm hungry i'm so sorry man i'm gonna uh, let's see how much more information i can uh we may maybe a part two do i watch a part two you know there's so much to talk about we have a whole character to break down in four months to do it because tekken eight's on the way but She still has full crash down for one. This, I don't know if you can do that slide out of do glide anymore. That's something that I believe might have changed, um, but I could be wrong. I wasn't able to do it. This move right here is gonna be a new move. Side step, I'm like pointing at the wrong thing. I'm pointing at this screen, but it's over there. Side step four is a new move that Lily has. It is, it puts them in a counter hit, like stomach hold situation. Um, that I haven't made, but get very much out of it. People normally are mashing and it recovers too quick. Uh, but this move, you do it out of sidestep and it is puts you in back turn. We would love it if it's minus four, you know. We'll take it whatever we can get, but um, this move. I'm tripping. So that move right there, it's a lot of text, but this move right here has great pushback. So you may be right here, but you're going to be at a fixed rate away from the opponent. You can do this move 
This move and Code of Circle 4 and 3 plus 4, you can do them and go directly into Dew Glide after them, which is awesome, dude. They they have now attached Dew Glide to certain moves, and it's awesome because Dew Glide now sidestep things. Now it's buffed. They will actually make the opponent miss by doing Dew Glide in situations. It goes into the back turn. Love to see it. Counter hit launcher still. That's a new move, so that's a tornado. At first, back turn one two was just high high, but now it is a uh, high mid, and it's a launcher. Well, it's a tornado. Excuse me, I don't believe it launches. That one's an armor move now. This here it is. Three four is what I've been saying. Three plus four. Three four is new move, and this move is amazing because it is safe. You can use it in juggles. It knocks down for chunky damage, and it crushes highs. But you can just do the first hit of the move and you can return back to neutral. So cool. And it just looks cool. The back backflips are still here. This is still gonna be one of your best enders because it does so much damage. Not changed. Awesome ducks highs. Like, you don't see it too often because it's unsafe, but that ducks highs and does chunky damage. So I, one day, you know, if we're feeling cheeky enough, we'll do stuff like this and it will do 50 damage and it'll be so cool. But it also, you will get launched for it, which isn't bad, you know, you, we can get, you can get launched off anything. It doesn't matter. This move, I uh, two nerfs that make me so sad. So sad, so sad, so sad. So Lily's back chain one plus two is now at least minus 11. You can punish it with a wall standing four now. So some characters get knocked down. And then back turn three plus four no longer has an extension. So this might change. We're hoping it changes. But right now you do three plus four by itself. It has chip on block. I spam, I think this move is cheeky. Um, it was cheekier in seven, but now you can still do stuff like this, like on block. You can you can continue to force this mix up. You you can keep it going. They can sidestep it, but now you have things to stop them from sidestepping. And it's minus four, which means one four will be will hit will trade with twelve frame moves, which which means you can then crush them for doing such quick moves. So it's a little give and take, but you gotta you gotta put those mix ups in the opponent's head because they they otherwise won't know it. This is the new low that we love to see so much, dude. We, we love that. This is the same move she has. Um, graceful low kick. So we no longer have back turned down forward. It is now graceful low kick. So have our knockdown sweep. You can do Vice Rabbit out of back turn. This is Dew Glide. So I believe they buffed this. Just last night I was discussing that you can't do do glide into feisty rabbit if you go into it this way. This note here says otherwise you should be able to go into do glide into feisty rabbit in neutral, um, which is awesome. Love to see it. This is still natural combo. You can still go into back turn. This is a new one. I wasn't able to confirm if you can jab in between the two buttons or not, but if you delay it, you can. That's our heat engager. One of this, one of the five. That's a move I've been referencing a lot. Platinum Grace, voila. It's, it hits grounded, knocks down, super great. This is a tornado in its armor move. This, quarter circle four, three plus four, that's what that is. Quarter circle four, three plus four, and side step four, you can go into do glide right after, which is cool. Um, I think you will side step a lot with this. If you're plus seven, plus seven on block, plus 12 or something on hit, cause they do the little plus 17, cause they do the spin. You can go into do glide right after, which will side step a lot of stuff. Super cool. Then we're going into feisty rabbit moves. This is the new, new mid, 
new feisty rabbit heat engager. They changed the name of these na the the name of the moves. It used to be called Rabbit Foot. Now it's Rabbit Dance. It's Rabbit Song and Dance. It's cool. And these are just her grabs. I think that's gonna be it for all the things that are different. We went over everything just on a just what I could remember from this. Um, but if if I could sum it all up, which I'm going to struggle to do because there's so many cool... Oh, that changed too. Everyone's uh, Rage Art is now down forward 1 plus 2. So a lot of down forward 1 plus 2 grabs have been changed to up forward 1 plus 2. Case in point. You can't reversal that anymore. You can't... You used to be able to do this thing where you could chip, uh, or sorry, you could reverse a move. So if you did uh, the uh, Lily's reversal, you could chicken it by doing, um, you would press forward and whatever button you press, if you press one or three, you would press forward one plus three to break the reversal. Or if you press two or four, you would press forward two plus four to break the reversal if it was chickenable. Um, that's as of right now it's no longer a thing but if you do a parry you can now if you are grabbed during your parry you can't break the grab anymore so that's something that's changed so buff on i guess both sides of things there um and these are just kind of at the end of the command list they do they have another section of things that the character can do and what chip does so no i i'm mistaken this is this is the beginning of the move list. It's gonna explain heat again. There's another section that explains what the character can do in Tekken 8 and kind of how you can play them. It gives you like basic like techniques. It's called the main technique section. So they say three three ones, long range, heat, heat dash, or heat activation. Three plus four, far away, creates, um, also causes heat engage. Three one on hit will start a combo. It also be super plus. This is the combo. So not only can you make the move plus, you can combo if it hits. That's easy. That is so cool. You, the move that uses all the rest of your heat is plus, and it's like, hey, you should do this because it will work. <laughs> so yeah, if they press after they duck, you get that launcher. If they don't press, you get you do a low or a grab, something to mix them up. This is just a small combo. This, this is a, is this is an easy combo they're showing you, but there's a lot more damage you can get. But there's nothing wrong with starting with something really simple, you know. That's what see. That's love it. That, that's basically a 50-50, What they just showed you guys showed all of us really. Another situation that's saying if you if you have heat you you have a situation. Awesome. Hop kick, we love hop kick. And so yeah, every character in Tekken Seven has this this breakdown of what you can do with them and why it's good. And here's a combo you can do with it. And so it's saying hey, armor through through higher mid attacks. Long distance launcher, you know, we love to see it. And it's safe on block if you just turn around, so it's totally worth using. And also, you now have an armor move, so hey, you can use this. And because health re recovers, love it. And because health recovers, if you do an armor move, you will lose some health, but that health will be changed into the health you lose when you're hit. When you do an armor move, will be changed to white health. And as you attack more, if you do a heat engager, you get all that health back. Well, you get you can get that health back. You can recover the health now. Look how cool that is. A multi-hit sequence, they call it. Armor. No, no. That is so cute. I think that's the end of the move list. And I think this is just uh, 
Three one. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's see. We've gone over the buffs. We've gone over the nerfs. We've gone over the new moves. We've gone over counter hit strings. I think let's just let's watch some movie. Let's watch some uh, matches. I got. I got two matches for y'all. Uh, I think maybe three matches for y'all. So we'll just watch these, go over kind of cool things they have, then I'll give fighting thoughts, and we'll wrap up the stream. How does that sound? Okay. So that's Tekken 7. We're going to pull up these videos. So the this is for... I um, that's, I started with this, didn't even finish it. Um, there's like a Paul match at the beginning of this. I didn't finish. I didn't get the whole set, so we'll just start here. just Nice, nice. Duck under it. So a lot of people will say that Tekken 8 feels similar to Tekken 7, and I, will, I won't disagree. It, it did a fantastic job building upon what Tekken 7 was and improved on a lot of different things. And so it still feels like a Tekken that we've played, you know, for many, many years. It's just upgraded. I love this so much, but I drop that combo so much. With up four at four three, it is a tornado that you can do. But in certain situations, if it's off axis or if the height's not right, you won't get the combo. Oh, that's one thing that has changed. In Tekken 8, a lot of moves that hit grounded now have different animations now. They feel more lively. Long range Punisher. Bananas. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Into wall grab? Cause why not? 50% health gone. Amazing. Loki, we were we were cooking out yo. Lit. I wanted that perfect so bad. I was hungry. After the beginning of the yo, we were, we gotta get the perfect. But so heat's so cool, you get move property changes, you get different combos, like Oh my goodness, they hit the nail on the head. We're just whiffing in neutral. <laughs> Lily's movement felt amazing in Tekken 8. I tried to go for a tech trap there. But I think they really did remove a lot of the wall tech traps. Voila! Look at that! Awesome! Round two. Fight. Ah, nice duck. Love it. Great job, me. Tech trap. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like the videos and my charisma. <laughs> I appreciate it. Nice to have you. Oh, I was used to the Tekken, Tekken 7 tornado. That's what that was. Like, see, that's the safe mix of. I think that's so that's two. And so next I have a match with Brian. Brian was a cool match, I'd say. Let me see, let me see. 
and you're just doing combos. We'll, we'll, we'll leave this here. But yeah, so... I love heat so much, so you get... Oh, I dropped it, but you get a combo extension in situations that you wouldn't be able to normally extend combos. Ah, Yeah, <laughs> I'm going for the hardest combos ever. Um, but you get plus frames in neutral, you get added move properties, like... You get to... If you do a correct move in certain situations, you get to change the whole dynamic of the round. Super cool. Yeah, we're just in the lab, so... Aw. Oh. <laughs> so, you could do back turn 3 plus 4, and it will continue the combo if you do a heat burst after, which is really cool. What am I doing? I'm gonna just skip this, there's no telling. I think I, think I get a match pretty soon. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Get ready for the next battle. Not me slurping, I'm so sorry. Round <laughs> one. I think Brian's really cool in this game actually too. I think a lot of the characters that made it back are very well done. Nice high crush. Like this is looks so cool to me. But that's one thing that's gonna be really important is how you use your decide to use heat. So he did a great job, he got a lot of damage off of heat and now he's still in the lead and he took the round, but if you use heat early in the match, you don't have it for the rest of the of that round, you know? Okay, look alive, babe. Lily's down for a one looks really good. You see, he's getting health every time he hits me with a back one. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had another tornado, I think. But look at that damage, like the combos. I love a long combo. I think this is, you get the mix up out of Duke Live. Tech trap they didn't get up properly. Like all the momentum that you can carry. The counter hit back to one, like, cooking. We were cooking. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh wait, I can look at it. I have it right here too. <laughs> that combo's cool. He gets to taunt, so he gets like a power up. A lot of characters have that. They'll do a move and they'll power up and they're, they will have added properties that way. Kind of like Claudio Starburst in Tekken 7. Ah, oh, nice sidestep. I love the music too. I think I really like the music though on the uh, the hangar stage. Nice little frame trap. Mm, barely missed him. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Ah, <laughs> nice block. Awesome, awesome. Nice. 
Nice. He got a new transition into his uh, stance. Look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. I saw the load, I'm like, block it, block it! <laughs> Back turns reverses the world, bro. That move is that move is taking us to Evo, bro. Taking us to Grands. Watch this all day. And then it combos into back one forward. On if, if you're off axis it won't, but on a, on, a, on the right axis. <laughs> this combo blew my mind last night. Cause I did a, re a reset in the middle, I didn't notice. So cheeky. Back turn two. What am I doing? Save. I'm trying to time it off. Am I timing him out? Alright, cool. So that's the first clip. I got one more, y'all. But yeah, so I, um, today we just went over kind of like the buffs and Nurse of Uli. And so I'm gonna watch one more video and then I'm gonna kind of just try and like kind of tie it all together. But yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. You know, all the support is very much appreciated. If you like what you see, feel free to, you know, like, oh, you can like, I think you can subscribe to the channel, follow me on YouTube so that you can stay up to date with everything. And I think this is, it's right here. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Cool. Is that full screen? It oh, looks okay. Round one. Fight. So much neutral. Ah, oh, nice hop, big shredders. Can I press the button? <laughs> nice. I love it. Feisty Rabbit out of the Code of Singapore 3 for score. So respectful, I feel like. I think honestly, Paul, I will say, Paul scares me in Tekken 8. Like, he gets so much star. Oh, wait, float. Oh, I missed it. Nice. 
Mm, the parry. I didn't see it coming. There it is. Mm. But yeah, oh, Paul also scary in Tekken 8 because he has the heat burst, the heat engage, he has all the tools that everyone else has, but the fact that he's like kind of a mix-up character, he gets a lot of situations where he's forced to be right in your face again, and that can be scary because it, it, it just kind of builds on itself. This is what I was talking about. You get the heat engager at the wall, you get the heat cancel at the wall, and it, that's always a combo. Bam. Chef's kiss. Final Fight. He was moving. There is, I think you're able to change the, uh, you're able to change how visually it will look, but also you can increase, like, the connectivity and how, how responsive it is. That's one, okay, so that's a prime example. You can use heat in combo for to access heat, but you can save heat after the combo to apply mix-up. Amazing. I think that's really cool. You can, there's so many different ways you can do it. Maybe you just need one more combo string to finish or get to the wall. Maybe you need to use your mix-up to come back, you know, whatever the case may be. You can apply the situation however you want to. I was trying to see if it would hit. That's it's recharging. Nice. You can charge that up so it can do more damage or more plus frames. I like that as a staple. It's consistent, good walk carry. Yo, I feel like Lily's 443 is like a safe jump from like 2D fighters. You could do it on their wake up, cancel it, you can confirm it. I begin okay make a diagram I'm gonna attempt to make a diagram actually I would love that let's make a diagram so that's Lily we're gonna copy this can I no it's the whole background I gotta make a new page ba 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 let me find a Lily this will be so cute okay so elemental this is Lily this is Lily in Tekken 8 okay Lily in Tekken 8 is the bee's knees. And, well, let's do what I wanted to do, it will. And so, actually, I should make a whiteboard. Let's let's come together and talk about how lit Lily is in Tekken 8. Let me see. So we have Canva. This is just a big whiteboard that's gonna put together, we'll do a chart, we'll do, let's see. So we got the pros. So the pros for Lily in Tekken 8. We do pros and cons. So the pros for Lillian Tekken 8. So Lillian Tekken 8 is by far the most most aggressive. Well, everyone's aggressive in Tekken 8, that's the thing. So 
I will say aggression or Tekken 8 aggression benefits Lily. I, I'm spelling things wrong. Help Lily. <laughs> and so, because everyone's pressing buttons in Tekken 8, this is going to help Lily because Lily wants you to press more buttons. Lily has lots of high crushes. She has more high crushes in Tekken 8, which is great. And with that, she has, uh, yeah, back turn down two. She has back turn three, four. She also has all the other ones. You know, she has the hell sweep. She has the uh, down back turn down three. She has all that and then some. And so she has more high crushes, which is super important. She has more ways to get into back turn, more ways into back turn. She has buffed feisty rabbit. That's not spelled wrong. It's just there's no space. Uh, buff back turn, buffed feisty rabbit, which is it has it has more evasion. That's how it's buffed. Uh, that's what's better about it. And buffed, well, buff feisty rabbit, and well, buffed. There's more ways to get into feisty rabbit as well too, which is why it's it's so great. Um, she has more counter hits, or no, she has her counter hits have changed. Um, all her counter hits are great, and she has. Heat engagers that are homing. Her heat engagers fit very well uh, for her kit and the flow of the match. Fit Lily's play style. Heat engagers complement Lily's tools. Let's say that. Actually, here I'm gonna put on some mood music, in, which I want to hear in the background. Um, it's gonna be Tekken, but I'm gonna make some Tekken sounds just so it's not just me talking. But all right, cool. So where was I? So heat engagers complement Lily very well. Her mix, it complements Lily's mix. So you have, um, oh, it's not there is. It's still spelled wrong. It told me the wrong way to spell it. Complements Lily's mix. So you have stuff like um, standing. I'm gonna add more words. This is gonna make more sense, I promise. Well, let me move this up. This is why we love whiteboards, y'all. So these are the pros. Um, let's make them green. That's enough green for that, actually. And so, for example, uh, let's let's write a scenario out. So, actually, hmm, how do I want to articulate this? So situations like back to one, down one two, or let's not do. Let's focus on situations like back to one on block. So on block. situations like back to one or slash side step four you have I think that's pretty much it for no you also have standing three in some situations standing three oh and cartwheel how can I forget oh and you have uh not so much, we also have up forward four into back turn. You have quarter circle four into back turn. Quarter circle four one. So you have these situations on block, right? That's gonna give you, I'm gonna add, can I add a box around this? There we go. So that's gonna highlight this section so you know it's separate. But we have these moves on, I'm gonna make them bullet points. You have these moves that put you in back turn. And actually, I don't wanna make these bullet points. I'm gonna make the next thing a bullet point. Excuse me, you have these moves that put you into back turn now and you have additional ways to mix up. And so I'm gonna do a triangle now. Mm -mm. And so this mix is something that you can even apply in, move with me. Um, you can even apply in Tekken 7. And so you have, in most situations, your fastest option is gonna be back turn one four, which is a heat engager now. Back turn one four is eight frame heat engager, okay? With an eight frame heat engager, if they do anything slower than a 12 frame move, you are gonna beat them and go into heat. And that's so important because 
he and Gators complement Lily's mix-ups. And so you have a back turn, which is a high, which is amazing. And then you also have ample low crushes. Ample, keyword, tons. Ample low crush, or high crush high crush options, okay? You know, that's so important because if the fastest options were gonna beat our fastest options in some situations, we wanna do things that'll beat that. And then not only do you have these ample high crushes, I'm gonna put another thing in green here really fast. With, with these ample high crushes, they have, they put, they build momentum, okay? They build momentum and do a lot of damage. A lot of damage and momentum. That's why we love that. We love that for us because if we're taking chunks off of the opponent's life and hey, we're getting momentum, the, the, battle, the battle is swinging in our favor, okay? And so what else do we got? So we can also block. <laughs> you know, blocking's not bad. You know, we also have options that are defensive options as well. We have these moves are generally safer. We well, I wouldn't put these here. I would say you have the access or the opportunity to you can just finish your string. So finishing your string, then it calls upon their matchup knowledge. If they're used to you pressing buttons after these moves. You can just finish a string. And if you finish these strings, these moves are. We'll do another green one. Um, finish the strings. These moves are counter hit knockdown. These are moves going to knock the opponent down. They are going to, you know, they're going to launch, you know, heat engage it depending on what, what they're going to do. So, and then in the middle, I'm going to put power crush. <laughs> Back turn two. Is the cherry on top? to all of this, okay? You can just do your armor move to just completely disregard whatever they're doing. And then I will add something here. I will say you have ample crushing options because you have high crushes and low crushes. Perfect. So that, this here is just a small breakdown. Oh, I forgot the, I'm gonna put this in a heart so that way you know just how lit this is. Um, best thing about all of this is you're gonna have one one, okay? You're hype, you're hype, I'm hype, we're, we're all hype. I'm glad you can make it just in time. So I'm doing, this is the, I'm tying it all together because I have to go eventually. I can't stay, this is so much fun, I'm having a blast. I've been thinking about this for so long. You have 1-1. One, one. And so 1-1 one, one is Lily's 10 frame jab string that puts her into back turn, which gives her access to all of these options off of her just doing a 10 frame jab. You can throw a 10 frame jab anywhere. You can be you can throw a 10 frame jab out at minus 10 if you wanted to. You can do this literally any which way you want to. And you have access to all of this just because you, you threw it out. 10 out of 10. And so I'm gonna like try to visually show you some of that stuff. So let me move this here so I can see it so I don't forget what I just wrote down. And then uh, this is Lily doing things, okay? So all the stuff I just listed, is she gonna stand up straight? She is gonna set this a block, perfect. And we're gonna, I think I'm actually gonna switch to infinite, I'm sorry. But yeah, so all of these moves are, if, I got scared. Did Titan crash? Did I crash Titan? Okay, there we go. It was sleeping or something. No, I think second crash, bro. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, whatever. We'll boot that back up later. Oh. <laughs> and so you have all these options out of back turn, just willy nilly. Actually, I have a video of it. Shine was doing a very good job of displaying what all that means. So I'm gonna go into, I think it's round two, maybe. No, I think it's round three. No, I think it's round two. Homie was cooking round three. But so any which way you go into back turn, you have this mix-up that carries its way through all of these situations where you can, is this, this is the one he wins. No, this is, this is the one. Perfect. 
So you have options out of all of these situations where you can go into a high crush. You can go into a launcher just because you went into back turn. You'll see him do 1-1 one, one in a little bit here. But you have all this, you know, you can do back turn all the time. You still have all your plus frame moves. All the mix-ups are still there that Lily's had. And now you have access to move that, you know, launch or move that counter hit knockdown. That wasn't the best example because I don't know where I was supposed to go. Um, but you have so many options to everything. So that's, we have some pros. Buffed Feisty Rabbit is great because, let's, let's talk about Feisty Rabbit. Let's do, I'll do a rabbit. I mean, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> and so Feisty Rabbit's buffed now. And so with Feisty Rabbit, we're not even gonna make it to the cons because the pros overweigh everything. There's just too many cons. Feisty Rabbit is buff. Which is so important because the move is sick, okay? The move, now let's add some bullet points to this. This is so cute. Um, what do I wanna add? I wanna add text. I bet, so Feisty Rabbit. Feisty Rabbit has, Feisty Rabbit Dance is it called? It's the low, Feisty Rabbit Three, or Feisty Rabbit Dance. Are you in caps, babe? I'm keeping caps. <laughs> Feisty Rabbit Dance is three. So let's get into this, dude. So it is a plus on hit, I assume. Plus on hit. It is counter hit a launcher. And then in heat, it's going to be a hard knockdown. Love it. And then what else we got? So I'm going to do another one. Going to get rid of the bullet points on that. Oh, we can list things. Wow. Uh, well, we'll do that for the next one. If I see rabbit knocked down, I cannot spell. And then you have Feisty Rabbit 2. New move we just got. This move is going to be a natural knockdown. We're missing the bullet points, babe. Knockdown on, or knockdown on natural hit. And it's going to be heat engager. That's so important because off of this 50 50, you're either going to get plus frames, counter hit knockdown, hard knockdown if you're in heat, but in heat, you're going to get a launcher if you spend heat dash, of course. Isn't it counter knockdown and only counter launcher in heat? No, actually it's not. It's counter hit launcher outside of heat. So in heat, of course, you're gonna get a knockdown on normal hit, but on on counter hit, either in heat or out of heat, it's still gonna counter hit launch, which is awesome. Cause it's like, in theory on normal hit, either it's gonna be plus out of heat or knockdown in heat. But on counter hit, you get the launcher either way. Uh, oh yeah, oh wait, if I, oh yeah, this is, in heat. I could be wrong, you know. I don't got my hands on it at the moment, but I, if I recall correctly, that's what I think it is. And so, let's zoom out a bit. This is so cute. So, this is just the pros. So, let's. what else can we get into? What else can we break down? The counter hits. That is one of the big things. I kind of touched on it, but the counter hits are large and in charge dude like the counter hits are she has always had counter hits but now the counter hits that she has out of like um you know out of her strings they do they give you so much benefit like i want to do red for this one because we love the counter hit um i'm gonna add some bullet points so with the counter not bad not that Okay, now we do add some text. So with the counter hits, I was kind of showing uh, earlier, it's in the VOD, oh, oh, this isn't a VOD yet, it's still a live stream. But with the counter hits that you have, you have counter hit back one. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see this a little bit better. So your counter hit, you have counter hit strings, like uh, we have back one on counter hit is gonna give way to Back one forward, sorry. Back one forward on counter hit gives you free critical four two one, which is what heat engager. Okay, you follow. So that's either a heat engager or a launcher, 
or even just a knockdown like for free off of a move that's plus one on block so that's the bee's knees you have back turn one two if the second hit of back turn one two hits you on counter hit this move is going to give you uh well back into back turn one four this is going to give you a counter hit or sorry this is going to give you a heating gator too same same exact well, actually, not the exact same principle. It's a little bit different because this one won't knock down a normal hit. This one gives you plus frames. So, yeah, you get Heat Engager or a Launcher or plus frames. So much text. I don't want the bullet point on this one. And then same thing. You're going to have 3-2 that does the same thing. Love to see it. And then I think that's... It. And then this one is not Connor hit, but 443 does the same thing, which is so cool. Do I have an up arrow? Does the same thing. Cool, cool. Oh, where did my music go? Oh, tech and crash, that's what it was. Alright, cool. We'll just do noise, you know. Um well hey, okay, so this is where we are as of right now. Okay, so this is just a couple of the pros that Lily has, and we didn't even have enough time to get into the cons because you know the day we got to We got to <laughs> I've been at home all day, um, but we will we will come back to this. Okay, remember these pros because these pros we're gonna weigh them against the cons and kind of just look at everything and kind of see how we get into it from there. But yo, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. So that way you can, you're up to date with everything. You can catch the next one. If you're not following my Twitter, I'm gonna drop the link. I think this should also already be there. Like I think if you're watching the YouTube, you're on it. But yeah, if you haven't um, subscribed already, or what is, is it subscribing on Twitter? Yeah, it's called subscribing on Twitter. So if you haven't, so how do you, con where's the chat? Is this a chat? Oh, there it is. If you haven't followed me, feel free to follow the chat. We can stay up to date it. And then, yo, if you want to follow my Twitter as well, feel free to follow my Twitter. But I will have to, I feel this is a pretty good stopping point with the stream. We got to come back to this another day and follow back up with it. But all in all, if you, had, if you were to ask me, I'd say Lily is extremely strong in Tekken 8. And the system like does a very good job of complimenting her play style and so i think she's we're, we're, we're sitting pretty she's eating you know eating the girls up if i will like um 10 out of 10 you know but uh thank y'all so much for stopping by it was fun to do this thank you for the subscribe yo i'm sorry there's so if if this is your first time finding the channel if you've been here before there's tons of good stuff to get into on the youtube channel i have combo videos i have long matches i have small breakdown videos but feel free to, you know, make yourself at home on the YouTube channel, get to know everything. But I will catch you guys all later. Uh, and until next time, bye.